Oh boy. Hello. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes Scarlet Blaze Chapter 11 Heroic Bloodlines. Yeah, I think that's what this one's called. How y'all doing? I'm doing okay. Tired. But. I've been playing some video game. Uh, I was redoing missions to get S ranks. Uh, I'll continue gathering things. records of your battles. Uh, because I can do that without advancing the stories. Uh, and as you can see, it does advance other things. So we have a support organization to do. Maybe more than one. Or one. Oh, Mercedes! You're a lifesaver, Mercedes. Could you help me tend to this soldier's wounds next? Lady Mercedes, where would you like me to put this? Oh, um, yes, just a moment, please. You really have your hands full, Mercedes. Anything I can pitch in on? Oh, goodness. I appreciate your offer, but I couldn't possibly ask you to take time out of your day to assist me in these tasks. Hey, don't be like that. Anyone who's still got the legs to stand on after a battle needs to do whatever they can to help. I'm no physician, but I can at least help get some of this stuff organized. But you only just returned from combat yourself. Aren't you exhausted? Hey, I could turn that question right back on you. You were there fighting with us that whole time. I suppose that's true. But are you sure you don't mind lending a hand? I hate being Sure asked. as anything. Just tell me what to do, and I'll be on it before you can even blink. When I've already offered. In that case, there's a box over at the training grounds. Would you mind getting it? There should be bandages and medicine inside, so you'll be able to tell which one it is just by opening the lid. Got it. Be right back. Hmm? Oh my, wait just a minute. What's up? Give me your right hand. Okay. I knew it. You're injured. Here, I can patch this up in a jiffy with my healing magic. Wow. It's all better. Thanks, Mercedes. You need to speak up from now on if you're hurt, all right? Don't be so nonchalant about your health. Hey, I could say the same thing about... Actually, never mind. Anyway, it should be easier to carry that box now. Thanks again, Mercedes. <laughs> no, thank you for offering to help. Oh, and take all the time you need. There's no rush. Yeah, people are just injured and dying. Because we're in a war. Hey, I was wondering if I could ask you something. I heard that you don't have any parents. Is that right? Rude! Yeah, the woman who raised me died, and I don't even know who my birth parents are. That must be tough for you, huh? Eh, it's okay. They all died a long time ago, so I don't feel sad or anything like that now. But I do wonder who I really am sometimes. I don't have even the slightest memory of my birth parents. Well, you might not know who you are. But you still work hard, and you keep your chin up through it all. That makes you super strong in my book. Hey, Raphael. Your parents are gone too, right? Yeah. Both my mom and pa died in an accident. We know this story. Well then, you're just as strong as I am. You work harder than anyone I know, and you do it all with the biggest grin in the world. Of course. It's easy when you love training as much as I do. Hey. I just realized something. We've sure got a lot in common. Our parents aren't with us anymore. We're both commoners scraping our way through this war, and most importantly... What can be more important than that? Both of us have got some serious brawn. I appreciate that, but our body types are completely different. Not sure this really counts as brawn. <laughs> sure, you're a little scrawnier than me, and maybe a lot smarter. But you know, 
My brain's been getting a constant workout ever since we opened the inn. You have an inn? Oh, yeah. I went home and started one up with my grandpa and little sis once the academy shut down. Running a business like that takes a surprising amount of muscle. Sure, there's regular stuff like hauling things around, but you need brain power too. If you ever want to make a profit, you have to pay real close attention to keeping the books straight. I mostly let my sis handle that stuff though. That muscle still needs more work for me, which means I'm in charge of the cooking. But that has its own share of problems. Yeah, it can be tough to find your footing when you switch jobs. Especially if you have to start doing things outside your wheelhouse. Trust me, I've had my fair share of growing pains getting used to the army life. Everything's way different from how it worked with my merc groups. But don't you just fight? That doesn't seem so different to me. As a mercenary, the only thing you're responsible for is yourself. Show up and do the job right, and you'll get your pay. But having soldiers to command, people I'm in charge of beyond just myself, that's a huge change for me. And there's way more to military work than just plain combat. Stuff like managing resources, making sure everyone has the weapons and armor they need. I don't think I'm bad at math per se, but it's definitely not something I'm used to doing. And the more stuff there is to keep track of, the harder it all gets. Hey, you're not so good at using your brain either. We're practically twins. That makes us pals now, right? I've got your back. So you just keep on working hard, buddy. Right back at ya. Let's keep fighting the good fight. Another clear victory for the Empire in battle. You can surely guess who stole the show yet again. Our mercenary friend? Always a force upon the battlefield, that one. Their approach on the battlefield is exceptional. Yet their curious power has also proved quite the boon. It is deeply fascinating, isn't it? Something beyond the principles of magic, and yet different from the power of crests. I might go so far as to say it veers close to the realm of dark magic, but I fear that's beyond my expertise. I am possessed of some small knowledge, yet still fail to understand the nature of that power. Then at present we can do nothing but throw our hands to the sky. And with that, I must be off. Oh? I thought you would be more curious about our mercenary ally. Would you truly raise the white flag merely because the matter lies outside your usual ken? What are you playing at, Hubert? If you want me to investigate a specimen, go ahead. Hook it and reel it in. Aha, but you are the better angler of the two of us. Furthermore, my method of hooking would complicate our relationship with so valued an ally. An inducement from your lips would ensure things proceed more smoothly. Oh my god. Well, this is becoming a hassle. Can't you push yourself to learn some new hooking strategies? Like, I don't know, one befitting the elegance of a true nobleman? Involving fancy tea, perhaps? A positively hair-raising notion. Please, do not speak it aloud again. Then maybe get in their face and pick a fight with them. You two could end up becoming fast friends. So you wish me to shout myself hoarse and swing my fists about like a common ruffian? I shall pretend I did not hear that suggestion. No. Then the only option left is aggressive persuasion. Driven home at the point of an axe, let's say. Lin Hart, who in the world are you talking about right now? I should think there is no one quite so barbarous in our own army. Hmm? Oh, I didn't have anyone particular in mind. I was just brainstorming new methods to ensnare our illustrious mercenary friend. Why? Did they remind you of acquaintances of ours? <sighs> in any event, let us leave this sleeping dog where it lies. I do not dislike conversing with you, but we seem to procure results of little benefit when we do. And with that, I have matters to attend to and must be off. Farewell. Until next time, Hubert. So when can I expect you to have reeled in our mercenary friend? I suspect we'd make headway on the research if we engaged in it together. I'm afraid I've not the time to play along with your 
capricious whims, Linhart. I will, of course, be cheering you on with some enthusiasm from the shadows as you hook the subject yourself. So weird. If it isn't Yuritsa, what are you doing out here all by your lonesome? Come to think of it, you were always at the training grounds when we were at the Officers Academy, too. It was quiet there. You don't say. Personally, I prefer somewhere I can kick back with a nice drink. Speaking of which, we should get one together sometime. I'm sure Hanneman would spare a moment to join us. I don't drink. Too bad. I thought it would be a good chance for us to get to know each other. By the way, I've been wondering, why were you always hiding behind that mask? A waste of a perfectly handsome face, if you ask me. I like you much better this way. It's not worth discussion. Oh! From what I've heard, you're probably a good few years younger than me. Manuela! Yet you're so mature. It's like you have this indescribable air of mystery. I bet there's some burning passion lurking beneath that icy exterior. Wow, she's really good at making stuff up. I'm right, aren't I? It's in there somewhere, I just know it. Say, let's grab some drinks tonight and do nothing with them because you don't like to drink. I know. Why don't we go out dancing instead? <sighs> I could not reveal my face. And then, when the sun rises, we can... Oh, what was that about your face? Why you hide it? Why do you hide it? Some knew me to be a wanted criminal. I find that hard to believe. Like they say, there are two sides to every story, right? But what made you want to tell me? A moment ago, you blew me off with that broody, none-of-your-business routine. You would have kept talking if I didn't. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Did I say something? Sorry, I wasn't trying to tease. I just think you're cute when you're flustered. Uh, uh, You've become quite the ladies' man. Just you wait. I don't give up that easily. Huh? <laughs> 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 Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. An ideal match for my talents. Can't wait to see how you do. Excuse me. My instruction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies. Let's see. Hey there. 
I carry a little of everything here. There we go. Now we're broke. Hope to see you again soon. But we have all these gifts. We'll give them out next time. Let's go finish this chapter, eh? The West's last stand. Our recent battles have won nearly all of the kingdom's central and western lords to our side. Those who chose not to bend the knee are making their last stand in that castle. They are weary men unable to keep pace with the times. And now we can be rid of them all in but a single stroke. They had plenty of chances to surrender and chose not to avail themselves thus. Show no mercy. If they wish to cling to the past, let them die in its embrace. Dark, dude. I wish they'd consider all the poor souls they're forcing to perish along with them. Sure, but I fully understand why they'd want to hole up in a castle. That's my go-to move. They're beneath a siege, not holed up. The difference is unequivocal. Sorry, what? Unequivocal. It is a new word I have been learning. Its meaning is clear and unambiguous, yes? Again, what? Look, the way I see it, we just need to bust through the gates and pummel the stuffing out of them. It unfortunately is not that simple. Most of the kingdom's castles are specifically designed to withstand a siege. Our only option is to chip away at them slowly from the surrounding forts. I agree, there is no place for mercy on the battlefield. The enemy desires a fight. We will rend them asunder and leave their bones on the midden heap. We need to move carefully. A cornered foe is capable of anything. Nothing to add? Very well. It's time. All units to positions. Pre Prepare to attack. Okay. Um... We got all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna do this one. This one. This one. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So, as I said earlier, uh, I did start. Uh, doing some of the old missions over to get the S rank prizes for them, uh, and that meant that uh, I did level up some. Um, so some of the characters are going to be different classes than they were before. Uh, yeah, specifically, uh, Shez is currently a Gremory, which is the highest level spellcaster. things with Shez. Um, that's really the big one. Uh, Alright, so. Wrong button. Why can't you just let me Get stay inside? Who else is going to give me the experience bonus? Oh, Radel Guard. Perfect. 
to battle and watch it bloom. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do want to level up these healing spells. But we will take you to level 3 because it's kind of ridiculous. There's Dark Star spell. Should you assemble B2 battle droids, BX commando droids, IG-100 magna guard droids, or droid deca? So B2 battle droids, are those the ones that turn into a ball, or is that the BX commando droids? IG-100, isn't that the mercenary with the weird, like, Cylinder head that spins multiple directions. Droidaka are the balls. Okay. Hmm. I say the Droidaka, but. made Baron Dominic their Leave, that's my cue. So, sure, let's try it. It's Bernie's time to shop. Sure hope this goes okay. 
I'm on it. Let's see how it goes. Prepare, go for it. Right then. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Figurehead because of his blood ties to the ten elites. <laughs> but Frank, his lineage is of no concern to me. Your orders are to breach the castle, no. find him, and no, cut no, no, him no, no, down. We will begin by eliminating the troops outside the castle. Split up and take control of those strongholds. Take care not to forge too far ahead now. It would be disastrous if the enemy were to seize our main base. I kind of like the Grimmery's attack pattern. I'm getting better, but... Oh, there's that. Excuse me. You guys are taking too long to wrap this up. in the castle perimeter nicely. Now we must find a way to... Help! It's a bloodbath out here! Let us in! We beg you! I can't leave those people out there to die. Open the gates! Wow. Throw the gates. Let that bleeding heart get the best. Hey, Gilbert. I mean, Gustav. No one will ravage these lands while I still draw breath. I will lay the lot of you low. I mean, nice thought. Got bad news. I've got you now. 
I can fly and summon giant, like, bombs of magic. That is all the fight I have left in me. I pray that it was enough, my brother. You can. Alright, I need to defeat 1200 enemies. Start complete. Begin the counterattack at once. So, they still has warriors and spirit, do they? Good. Let us give them a fight to remember. You guys all go hang out. And have both of our flanks. Split up and eliminate them before they cause any real trouble. This place will never fall with me around. I can do this. This safe space and they can't have it. Troops, defensive formation. None will pass on my watch. No. This stronghold is my stage, and I don't intend to surrender the spotlight. I will not be permitted to run amok in one of my strongholds. Over my dead body. I've got you now. I probably need to set all of them to the bank. I never wanted this bloodshed, but now there is no stopping it. Too easy. Splendid. Though yours is indeed a power that warrants caution. Is everything prepared? All of our hopes rest on this strategy. Now. Oh, the blister. Not again. The enemy is targeting us with their ballista, Your Majesty. We must respond. Bring it down. crap out of this place. I've got this. Right. I think we crushed that very well. So let's I'm breaking a siege, only this time I'm the one laying the siege. My potential is so... Before this 
thing really oh, gets out of hand. Way for villains who try to harm her majesty. I've got this. You guys get down there, kill that guy, and I will start killing the other side here. Four minutes to finish this fight. My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. This may be the greatest deed anyone has yet accomplished in this war. I should write a victory ballad to celebrate. The day has come to repay the debt my lineage owes the royal family. And should the cost be my life, so be it. to like deal with that kind of place.
place. We've underestimated our foes. Send word to Duke Ivan and Count Karen and have them send reinforcements. Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone to me. Advance. Wrong button. Right then. Let us go to it. <laughs> so, what should I be doing again? I'm on it. Let's see how it goes. So, what should I be doing again? Right then. <laughs> I was. It's Bernie's time. Sure, hope this. So, sure. Let's try it. Leave. That's my cue. Prepared. Go for it. I guess that's what I need to do. I've got this. Everybody gang up on that one and I will be with this one. We cannot permit them to summon reinforcements. Move at my own pace. Take a breather. Deploy the reserves. Don't let those messengers slip through. Every messenger must be silent. This is the way of battle. Alright, we've defeated all the messengers. Alright, team. Get I've back down this. there and protect those guys. I will. Not a problem. Well, I'm certainly glad we won't have to deal with those reinforcements. Show yourself, Baron Dominic. Surrender, and I will spare your life. My life means nothing if I must spend the rest of it facing my people in shame. I will not abandon them in their time of need. I will not suffer you to lay a hand on my brother. Didn't I already do this to you once? Hey. Repeat. I've got you now. Brother, your majesty, I pray you deliver our kingdom to peace. According to our intelligence, there's a secret passage in the area that can help us gain the upper hand. What you start. Wow, they cleared those guys out quick, didn't they? I've got this. Let's see. Let's I've got back. this. Started. Oh boy. That's a scary looking hammer. I'm not afraid to fight. I'm doing this for all the people I care about. She wields a hero's relic. If we strip her of it, it could serve us well in the future. I'm not gonna die here. 
That secret passage is useless now. I promise to defend this castle, and I will, no matter who I have to face. <laughs> The others are out here risking life and limb, and I can't let them down. Sorry, man. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything in my power, but it just wasn't enough. Not you as well. How will I ever tell your mother? Yeah. Alas, what you stop. And now I too go to battle for the last time. I've got you now. I've got this. Not a problem. Though our fates may be sealed, we will fight to the very last. I've got you now. Not yet. Seize the remaining strongholds, and let us nip this problem in the bud once and for all. Seize every last enemy position. Brook no resistance. You will pay for the blood you have spilled this day. No, I get paid for spilling blood. That's how Mercer works. Strength and beauty. What a pair. It's over. I'm unstoppable. Your daring escapades are truly show-stopping. Baron Dominic left to deal with. Let's end this thing and go home already. Ten? How many times do I gotta tell you guys I want you to go kill this mage? A warrior of Fargus. Why? Oh, why? Because this seems to have worked every time so far. Well fought, everyone. This will deal a crushing blow to the kingdom. Our campaign is not over, but for now, we celebrate. And so I reach my end. Pray forgive me my weakness, Your Majesty, Annette, Gustav. Forgive me. They deified him for being the descendant of a hero. And in return, he got a life he could never control, and a death he could never ordain. Yet surely the man was happy to die for his people. He must have felt as though he had fulfilled his set purpose in life. That notion alone should tell you how warped the world has become. Still, right and wrong are spoils to be handed out by the victor of this war. Well said, Your Majesty. We must prevail if we are to change the world. This war is only the first step. I get it now. I beg your pardon. 
Everything's finally clicked for me. I understand what we're really up against that here. That took too long, Shaz. Oh? I told you before, I don't always get where you're coming from. Still, you trusted me, and that was enough. But what you said just then... It made me realize we're not fighting the church or the kingdom. I mean, we are, of course. But what we're really up against is the world itself. And even if we win, there's no guarantee we'll leave Fodlin better than we found it. All we can do is try our best and hope it works out. Pretty hard to wrap your brain around, honestly. I can't even begin to fathom how you can grapple with something that heavy. <laughs> Once again, you managed to find a most surprising nugget of philosophy. I knew you'd understand. Even if I can't point to the reason why I felt that way. But I'm glad to hear you say it. Thank you. Ah, 23 seconds too slow. Oh, you bunch of I'm getting better. Imperial soldiers, the lands of Brynius now belong to us. As you know, Brynius shares a border with Blaipid territory. The enemy stronghold of Ferdiad is but a stone's throw away. At long last, we approach the final push of this campaign. Stay vigilant, but be not afraid. We shall wield our weapons as one, claim our victory, and unite all of Fodlan under our flag! Blathed land at last. The kingdom will be more desperate than ever now. As they should be. We have stripped away nearly half of their territory at this point. But we still have the remaining houses to contend with. Karen, Galatea, Faldarius, and Gautier are all unshakably faithful to the crown. They would tear us to pieces had they the chance. Certainly not my idea of a fun afternoon. Still, we have no choice but to face them unless they decide to stop harboring the Archbishop. Do you think that's even a possibility? The people of the kingdom are quite devout after all. I highly doubt it. So let them huddle together like the cornered rats they are and... Hmm? Huh? What's going on? Urgent news, my lord. Massive revolts have broken out in Hrim and Ordelia territory. What? Did you say Hrim? Uh, where is Hrim again? The eastern edge of the Empire, north of Eyre, along the Aramid River. And Ordelia Land is across the bank in Alliance territory. It's also where Lysithia is from. And as far as I know, her parents are still there. Unrest in both the Empire and the Alliance? This can't be a coincidence. So, those who slither in the dark have finally made their move. This is it. This is our chance to figure out who or what those people really are. Dang it! Scarlet Blaze. The Rising Darkness. Having smashed the kingdom's last desperate defense, the Empire takes the battle north. Further pressure from the Alliance to the east forces King Dimitri to make a difficult choice. Will the Empire and Alliance prevail and unite Fodlan? Just as all begin to entertain the possibility, those most opposed to the idea finally emerge from the shadows. A 
Apparently, it started with attacks by bandits and insurgents, which touched off a widespread revolt. The people have taken to the streets, and now Hrim and Ordelia territory are in total chaos. We have no choice but to intervene. At present, it is just Hrim territory. But if the unrest spreads to neighboring Imperial lands, there will be no water cask large enough to quench the flames. Especially if the fires were intentionally set. And yet, redeploying our forces to deal with the unrest could be exactly what they're after. I believe it is, Your Majesty. With the aid of the Alliance, we were on the brink of securing the Kingdom's surrender. The war was all but decided. It seems certain parties were not at all happy with that particular arrangement. Yeah, you can't exactly wage a war when your own land's falling apart at the seams. No one is more reluctant than I am to turn back when victory is within our grasp. But it is the only option. Fortunately, the Kingdom now lacks the soldiers to take advantage and regain their lost territory. We'll leave enough troops to hold the line and take the main force east at speed. I'll have Count Burglies take position at Aryan Road. That sounds exhausting. But you're the boss. Do you mind if I just link off to my room and... Oh, here come the dagger eyes. Never mind. If it's settled, let's not waste another second. Every moment we delay means more suffering for the innocent people who are caught up in this. Going to Hrimland will take us close to Ire. Needless to say, I am in favor of departing at once. Let's go find the masterminds behind this mess and send them to meet their maker. But how will we be telling the innocent people from those who are causing trouble? A fair point. If we're too reckless, many good people are going to be killed. Only one thing to do. Let's get to Hrim territory and sort this out. Position. I have a... Do you think this might work? We need to work with what we have. Shall we? <sighs> yes? Thank you. Right. Mm. 
I mean, I did kill her best friend. You there. Got a minute? Now what? How can I help you? A sec. I carry a little of everything here. Hope to see you again soon. Okay. Please. Let's give it a go. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Understand. What do you think? Right on. 
sure. Come to think of it. Ooh, can we get the dancer class? That'd be fun. Hey, got a minute? Point of fact. <coughs> what do you think? Oh. Reminds me. Huh. Oh, Here's a thought. How can I serve? Do you have a spare moment? Another thing. <laughs> so many tragedies, it's true. That's not good. How may I help you? to me. Listen here. Oh, dear. Let's see. Right. I mean, you probably shouldn't rely on me for everything, but it'll be fun. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities.
Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. All right. Set up some training. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Maybe master of class while I wasn't looking. Can't wait to see how you do. Aha! Those two need to stop training again. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. You into shape. Man, well. Yep. A fresh start. Capturing taskbar look like theirs is next. So let's uh, check that. With proper training, you'll Ooh. be unstoppable. They're there. Alright, we'll listen to that in a minute. Uh, let's... Time to work you into shape. See. Swap cast. can have a good relationship with Raphael, apparently.
remember the what a ah. time to work you into shape Can't wait to see how you do. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. not here. Good for something. Time to work you into shit. Can't wait to see how you do. Hunger is the true enemy. Adult, I can do it myself. Oh boy. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy.
salad. This is one of my favorites. I'm surprised you know what I like. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Knows my weakness. Come back whenever you're hungry. All right, all right, all right. Care to make yourself useful? Care to make yourself useful? Do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? yourself useful? We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Do our fair share. Oh, that. Oop. Puppy birds. He's going after the cat skin. Oh, boy. Come here.
gifts away. Maybe I'll just do that in between streams and just save the support conversation. Do I want to know what you two are talking about? Is it not obvious? We are debating who might be behind the recent disturbance in the peace. The former Dirk Iyer. The slithery people, right? Correct. Absurdly phrased, but correct. We may have ousted Lord Arendell and the others from power in Enbar, but we knew it was not the end of their vile schemes. Which is why we have been preparing for the day they bared their fangs once more. Granted, we lack solid proof they are behind this, but it is the most likely explanation considering the scale of the revolts, as well as where and when they all occurred. I'll keep that in mind on the battlefield. Oh, and for the record, I like this part where you all trust me enough to tell me what's going on. A strategy I strongly oppose. But Her Majesty insisted we keep you in the loop. Must you always antagonize Hubert? I merely state fact. Though I will admit you saved the Emperor's life, once, still. I would not be shocked in the slightest if you suddenly changed your colors and tried to kill her. Yet sharing such knowledge with you achieves a dual purpose. It helps prevent those who slither in the dark from using you, and it gives ample justification to dispose of you, should you betray us. You never change, Hubert. At this point, I don't know how I'd react if you did. You may not have Hubert's trust, but you have mine. I'll be counting on you as always in the battles to come. If those who slither in the dark appear, we must strike them down. Oh boy. I forgot that we had support conversations I haven't done yet as well. Yuri's still not back yet? It's been five days. Hmm? What's this? A letter? I'm not liking to leave his stuff lying around. I wonder if it says anything about where he went. Oh, it's just sitting there. Can't hurt to take a peek, right? Are you well? Eating enough? I worry about you all the time. Thank you for sending money always. I want to see you soon. Huh. Is this letter for Yuri? It's got a different name on it. Having fun? Yuri! Wow, you really snuck up on me. When did you get back? Just now. More importantly, why are you snooping through things that don't belong to you? Choose your next word carefully, if you don't want them to be your last. I'm sorry. It was just sitting out in the open, so I thought it'd be okay if I read it. I was worried you weren't coming back. <sighs> Never mind. I can't imagine you'd have a reason to pry into my affairs. I suppose this is what I get for taking off without telling anyone. And for being so careless. Yeah, I thought you'd be the last person to leave something like this behind. You must have left in a hurry. You could say that. I see. Well, it must have been important. But I know it's none of my business. I appreciate your concern, but I don't mind. The letter is from my mother. She's always been prone to illness. But lately, her condition has grown worse. I try to visit whenever she asks to see me. Obviously, there are times when I can't go, but... <sighs> I have to take all the time I can get, right? I never know which visit will be my final chance to see her. I understand. Once someone's gone, they're oh, gone. Oh, jeez, this is a little heavy. But wait, the name on that letter... Is that your real name? So Yuri's an alias and you're really red? No need to say it. And yes, what parent would call their kid by an alias anyway? Fair point. 
It's a nice name, though. Why hide it? In my line of work, it pays to have more than a few names. And don't go telling anyone about this. You won't like to find out what happens if you do. I won't. Promise. And if I do slip up, you're free to do your worst. In any case, I am sorry for prying. And for what it's worth, I hope your mom gets better soon. If it were easy to cure, then we wouldn't even be talking about it. But I appreciate the sentiment nonetheless. Stupid mosquitoes! Get in here. I wonder when I'll be able to return to Enbar. Greetings, Dorothea. I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, you're fine. I was just having myself a little think. So, what do you need? I come with a matter involving the opera company, of which you were once a member. What's wrong? What happened? Nothing drastic, I assure you. A letter addressed to you arrived, and finding myself with the moment to spare, I decided to deliver it personally. And, as I was also hoping to speak with you about the company, the trip serves a dual purpose. Okay, don't scare me like that, Hubert. I figured something awful had happened since you were coming here in person. My apologies. Let your heart be at ease. Now then, I wish to discuss the matter of your return to the Opera Company. I'm pretty sure I said I wasn't going back. That is not what I refer to. Well, it is and it isn't. You have no love of violence, and in fact care little enough for it that the mere sight of someone in pain nearly rends your poor heart in two. Further, I am aware that you received numerous invitations to return to the company. Despite that, you continue to remain here on the front lines of the war. I find this choice... curious. Okay, that's a fair point. I honestly have given some thought about returning to the company. Touring across the land with them and using music to heal weary hearts sounds... wonderful. And if I did make that choice, it would be a different way to help Edelgard and everyone else. You agree, right? Indeed. I should think it terribly useful work. But even so, I can't abandon the actual fight when all of you are still here. The thought of being safe and sound while my friends risk their lives isn't something I'm comfortable with. Does that make sense? It does. And I even share your feelings to a degree. However... We could always summon your opera company to the front, so that you could use your diva talents to motivate our troops. Surely you have considered this possibility? You really see through everything, Hubie. It's vexing. But fine, there's another reason. I want to support Adi as a commoner. If I were here in the position of an opera diva, I wouldn't be treated like one anymore. I want to be here fighting as a representative of the peasant class. However selfish it might be, I feel this is the best way to help Adi as she tries to erase the gap between nobles and commoners. Well, this is a surprise. You choose the path of hardship for the sake of your emperor. Truly, I have undersold your resolve. Oh, but there is one more reason. Still more. There are quite a few young nobles here. Dependable ones with quality futures ahead of them. And they're a lot more attractive than the doormats who flutter about us divas in the capital. Yes. That does seem important. You are stronger than I gave you credit for, Dorothea. And you have earned my respect this day. Leopold von Burglis, you know, I am challenging man. you, you know to a duel. Meet me at the time and place designated. Signed, Petra McNeary. Come on. 
Sorry, but my father won't be coming. Why not, Caspar? Because I got a hold of your letter before it could reach him. He doesn't know a thing. Why are you making interference? You do not have the right. Because I can't stand the thought of you dying. You're a great fighter, Petra. But you don't have a prayer against my father. You've got to know that. <sighs> then you can be dying in his place, Caspar von Burglies! Huh? What the... Uh... <laughs> Why are you backing away? Just finish me off. That would be achieving nothing. I thought you said you were gonna kill me in my father's place. I was losing control of my emotions. Okay, so now what? You gonna start following my father around again? What are you thinking? I don't know. I mean... I know he killed your father, so if you really hate him that much, then go for it, I guess. But I'm gonna try and stop you, because I don't want you two killing each other. Caspar, for certain reasons that are not being public, I am queen of Bridget now. A queen cannot be acting on personal grudges. Then why did you challenge my father to a duel? I do not know. It was a mistake. It was not normal for me. Well... I guess even a queen can't push her feelings down forever. I can't imagine what it must have been like to go through what you did. But I think I can still relate. Um... Hey, here's an idea. From now on, take it out on me. No, this is silliness. There is no point in killing you. I'm not talking about killing, Petra. What I want you to do is unload on me. Tell me off! Just... Talk to me about whatever it is you're feeling. If all your hate becomes too much, dump it on me. If you want to hit something, I'm your guy. I just want us to keep being friends. All right? We will stay friends by yelling and hitting? I am not certain that is the kind of friendship I am wanting. But I am thanking you all the same. I will be giving it thought. Great. Then just tell me when you need me. All those two. Do you want to come up, Toby? Come here. Come here. No, come here. I'm going to take another short break. Be back in a few minutes. Okay. Bathroom break. We'll see. Maybe now, maybe do a battle or two before we call the night. Let's do the fancy ones. Guard, what is this new information regarding those who slither in the dark? And can I assume it is somehow related to her inexplicable presence at this meeting? Hey, Liz. How's it going? Indeed, Lysipia. For you see, she is the same as us. Yet another poor soul whose fate has been bent to their nefarious will. It can't be. Then the rumors about Happy are true? Her powers came from their experiments? Yep. What? You didn't believe it? I did not, in fact. Rather, I assumed it was a lie you told to keep others away, or else slander spread by arrival. A bit overboard for slander, don't you think? But still, I'm actually glad you didn't believe it. I presume we're ready to move on to the main topic. That is... If you're following all of this... Oh, I know all about Happy's situation. Good. That makes things easier. Now then, Happy's captor was a woman named Cornelia, the kingdom's former court mage. Apparently, she is also one of those who slither in the dark. Isn't she dead? When the kingdom learned she was planning an insurrection, they rallied an army and defeated her. But is she truly dead? A cunning woman like her might have secured a body double and escaped. We've no way to confirm for ourselves. 
and can only trust the kingdom was thorough in this regard. Anyway, we think we found one of her old hideouts. Seems like it might be worth checking out. Based on what we've been able to extrapolate from Happy's testimony, this base is somewhere in the western portion of the kingdom. With the war's front having moved further north, we're currently well positioned to investigate. Oh, so that's why it took you so long to look into this. You had to wait for the war's tide to shift and grant you an opportunity. And what? I'm just extra muscle in case any baddies show up? Or does this have something to do with my power? For now, you are merely serving as additional steel. However, it's possible we might find a connection between Happy's power and your own. And though it might end up being nothing, I'd very much appreciate it if you came along. Sure thing. I mean, it's my job to protect you anyway. Well, my and Hubert's job. Say, where is Hubert anyway? He usually jumps at the chance to be involved in this kind of thing. Hubert has a good deal on his plate already. Now let's be off. With any luck, this won't take long. I pray we might finally dispel the darkness that haunts us all. <sighs> this battle feels good. Fifteen hundred enemies in twelve minutes. This is the local. You can count on me. I'll go on ahead. You can count. I'll do my. Th Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. We deduced from happy statements. Hopefully, we find something. I think our suspicions were correct. All signs point to their having been intruders. Away with you. Yeah, I've been here before, no doubt. Out of the way! 
smashing the uh, solid blazer so we can get the ass. They must learn who they're up against. Such a ballista. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. <laughs> No telling when somebody's gonna jump out at us. Where was anything? I can't remember. Here up, they must learn who they're up against. What are you guys doing all the way over there? Fuck. You know what? Three of you work as a team, and I'll take out everything else. Pretty useful. 
useful sometimes. We're not. This is absolutely one of those situations where they're trapped in here with us. Anything here now? They did a lot of single stuff in here. Find it to the best, change it, that sort of thing. You're surprisingly calm about all this.
punishments won't mean a thing. Less than four minutes. I'm not still standing when the battle's over. Amazing. It's like your power is a part of you now. They're trapped. We must help them quickly. Get him through the door. I've got you now. Nope. Yeah, all right. That's nice, I guess. Oh, I'm not allowed to teleport out. Interesting. research seems to have had different aims than the experiments I was subjected to. Which means it likely differs from my own experience as well. For the sake of your future, Lysithia, I hope we find some connection. But I fear it does not look promising. There are still rooms we haven't searched yet. Let's investigate those. Yeah. I'm not a child. 
Seems like nothing. Let's press on. I don't think I'm gonna beat the time limit. No, I've already failed the time limit. Dang. Like their technology, at least. I've got you now. Aside from the weird shape, it doesn't seem anything like my sword. We've given this area a thorough look. Is there anything else? Secret. Hey, was I the only one who heard that? It came from over there.
Is this a dungeon? I've never been in here. This air feels just like the area beneath the palace. How many have met their ends here? Be it alliance, empire, or kingdom, their evil has left its mark everywhere. <sighs> What triggered the door mechanism? Could my brethren have fallen? Could he not know? Let's collect what we found and leave this place. Hubert should be able to tell us more. The e This. Smashing week? Yeah, I mean, basically. I thought for sure we'd find better info in this place. And also that I'd be way more freaked out. Although, it seems like it was a different experience for you and Liz, eh, Eddie? I can't claim to be as disaffected as you, but I'm fine. No need to put on a brave face, Edelgard. I feel terrible, and I'm certain you do as well. It's just that nothing ever bothers Happy. In that case, I feel as if I've just gone digging through an entire crate of old nightmares. And yes, this base seems mostly abandoned now. But who knows how many found themselves chained to operating tables while Cornelia was still alive. Well, that kind of thing happened to all of you, right? Well, I'm glad you made it out the other side. Now we got to fight together like this. We were lucky, that was all. Sometimes I wonder if we were the lucky ones. Rough. Anyway, why don't we get out of here before more jerks decide to crash the party? Good idea. Nothing like a nice bed and a warm meal to lift your spirits after something like this. So long as that meal contains something sweet. Sweet? Uh, sure. All right. Why not? Tea time it is, then. For all four of us. Let's hurry back. Tea time. I mean, if that's all right with the two of you. Of course. I'm actually growing fond of our weird little band. Still, you sure you're okay with me crashing your tea party with Eddie? Seems like you guys do that a lot. Actually, I believe Monica is the one who has tea with Edelgard most frequently. No, it's definitely you, Lysithia. And then Ferdinand. Don't forget about yourself. I've seen the two of you hoisting cups on more than one occasion. I had no idea everyone was so interested in my habits. You make it sound like all I do is drink tea. Oh no, if anything, you don't drink enough. You're always working yourself too hard. But you could stand to work more, Happy. And while we're on the subject of change, let's talk about Lysithia and her sweets addiction. I beg your pardon? 
Why, I barely have any interest in sweet things at all. And it's hardly fair to compare my work ethic with, you know, an emperor. I said what I said, and I stand by it. How rude. As punishment, I demand you give me your daily dessert ration from now on. Don't make me sigh at you, pal. Oh, dear. You were all so very odd. But I'm still delighted to count you all as allies. Well, at least someone's enjoying herself. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Do the Ashen Wolves reunion. And then we'll call it a night. What'd you bring the five of us together for, Yuri? We beaten someone up? Because I'm always ready for that kind of thing. It is always the same with you, Balthus. How can you possibly be so uncouth in my presence? Not to mention our dear, frail, happy here. Stop thinking with your fists and use your brain. Who are you calling frail, Coco? It was a figure of speech, dear happy. Nothing more. <laughs> We've been topside for a while, and you guys haven't changed a bit. You really think I'd call you out here just to lay a beating into someone? <laughs> We're too busy for that. I've got a favor to ask of you all. Oh, and you as well, if that's all right. If this is the crew you've gathered, it must be important. Count me in. That was almost suspiciously easy. <laughs> but I'm not going to look this gift horse in the mouth. Let me fill you in on the details in that case. Some old friends of ours, rogues from Abyss, are in trouble. They've been caught up in some kind of struggle, and now bandits are after them. Considering the circles they run in, we're the only people willing to help them. Which means it's on us. Got it. Definitely still in. You should know better than to take Yuri at face value. No doubt much of what he said is true, but I am certain there is another angle to it as well. One which benefits himself. I take care of my own. That's all. I think the point is that there are folks from Abyss who need help, right? So let's quit bickering and go help already. Good point. This is no time for anyone to be arguing with the shady lady here. How dare you! I am not the one who is constantly scheming at one thing or the other. Yuri Bird? Coco? Hey, hey! Save some of that fire for the fighting! Yeah, you can air all your grievances at the bad guys. Exactly. You're actually smart sometimes, friend. Sometimes? I'm always saying smart stuff. Huh? Oh, right, right. Let's go with that. That doesn't help. 
<laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, Yuri, it's time for the thing. You know, the thing to get us fired up before we roll out. He used to do it in Abyss all the time. Our house doesn't exist anymore. But if it means we can finally get going, very well. Let's do this, wolves. Oh, and you too, Mark. Seems like a fr- I've got friends fled into the mountains. To get there, we'll need to take these strongholds. had a bounty on their head and told us to turn them over. Uh, they were probably talking about me. Like, well, that's awkward. There were plenty of folks with bounties on their heads in Abyss. But no one can begin to match the rich price on yours. You're the one who summons monsters, yeah? Happy or whatever? Well, time to open up. You've got the wrong person. I don't have any idea how to summon monsters. I swear! trouble. I've got you now. 
time already. Huh? Wait. Why is there a monster over there? Must have had the wrong person. Come on! I'm guessing they'll follow the path to the monster. Yeah? of your beauty has not spread as fast as that of your abilities. If you are being confused with a random man, fine by me. Still, do you think that mage was working for the lady who kidnapped me? Yeah! 
you there. You're all right now. Hey, you'll be real proud of me. I didn't sell you out or nothing. It would seem their leader has made himself known. Well, I could use a new business angle. Perhaps I'll start by capturing you. this coming. You're rather famous, aren't you? Yes, I imagine you'd fetch a tidy sum. You capture me? <laughs> Not likely. I've got you now. My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. Perhaps I ought to depart some of your brilliance for myself. I must say, I didn't expect anyone would come to the aid of these rogues. Normally I like surprises, but I am finding this one to be most unwelcome. Is it over yet? Some distance away, I will try to use my sorry excuse for magic to attack. I've got you now. What was that? Is that magic? What is she even aiming at? Oh dear. It seems my other side has been doing some experimenting, and my magic got a bit out of hand as a result. So, does that mean you can stop it now? Because we're getting burned alive over here. Apologies, but I fear my meager intellect is not up to the task. I've got you now! to be more worried about friendly fire than the actual enemy. It seems the goddess has not forsaken us quite yet, for I was able to put a stop to it. How 
luck. Here comes the big boss. <sighs> Better get this over with. I'll cut you! This reminds me how glad I am to have you on our side. Just some slapdash bandit. You have another thing coming. Get up there. I understand this is how such folks make their living, and I have certainly been there. But these roads are our roads, and we are going to protect them. Yeah, hands off our roads. Yeah, hands off our... Hey, wait a second. When did this lot become our rogues? Someone always... gets in my way. Looks like it's over. You folks go on ahead. I want to talk to these rogues. Thanks for the help. Things would have been pretty hairy with just the four of us. I mean, we've got this guy pulling bounty hunters in from across the continent. Hey! And this gal summoning monsters. Not my fault. Also totally necessary. And finally, the grand sorceress who rained pain down on friend and foe alike. Even your condemnation is far too kind. I was of no help whatsoever. Hey, everyone did what they could. And we all had a hand in the victory. Yeah, it worked out in the end. So buck up. It was nice to blow off some steam at any rate. And I'm certain my other self was pleased to do more field tests with the new spell. Though at the expense of my complete and utter mortification. Well, I've still got my complaints. But I suppose I gained something from this too. Oh yeah? What's that? I went ahead and hired the folks we saved. I made it look like I was doing them a favor. And those in debt never seem to ask questions of their saviors. <laughs> I'd been feeling a bit short-handed anyway, so it all worked out. <laughs> You're always looking for an angle, Yuri. That's the one thing about you that never changes. What do you mean, the one thing? What are you trying to say? <laughs> what else changed? You know, the, uh... Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, so now I haven't changed? 
Do you even know what you're saying? Or are words just falling out of your mouth faster than your brain can make them? Pretty much, yeah. Clearly V hasn't changed either. Well, I have certainly changed. Alas, I have lost all of my hopes and dreams. Are you kidding? That is a hundred percent you. <laughs> you four really are old friends. We are quite the quartet, all right. But hey, why don't you make it a quintet? Plus, I could use some help babysitting this lot. They call us the Abyssal Four, but now that we're five, we'll have to change that name. Psst. Constance, did anyone ever call us that? It's hard to say. Sadly, my feeble memory has all but wasted away. We were probably called that. I mean, it's not like Yuri Bird to just make things up. Hey, what's with you guys? Do you want to be a part of this group or not? <sighs> and here I was thinking we'd all go out and celebrate our victory. I guess it's just gonna be the two of us, friend. Uh, sure, I guess. No fair. It should at least be the three of us. Hey, if you're paying, you know I'm in. Also, you're right. I think we were called the Abyssal Four at some point. Wherever you lead, dear Yuri, I shall follow. For I have no desires of my own. I will happily feast upon whatever meager morsels you see fit to scatter before me. Enough yapping. Let's get out of here already. Wow, Constance is a lot sometimes. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. My instruction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies. I won't. Just over three hours to do a handful of side missions and all of the new story bits. I don't think that's too bad. Ooh. Um, back tomorrow to try to finish up this chapter. Uh, and then there will be a break. Because um, I've got to do a lot of work next week. And I will not have the energy in the evenings. Um, yeah. Whew. I don't know. Good times. 
All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.